Ryanair, one of the most recognisable low-cost airlines in Europe, with around 1,800 flights per day, covering a wide array of destinations in Europe and beyond. If you follow the rules and regulations of this airline, then the journey goes incredibly well and without incident. However, if you make a mistake, don't read their terms and conditions, or even a mistake through no fault of your own, then expect there to be trouble on your journey. Now, Ryanair has loads of what I would call hidden charges and others not so hidden. They charge you for everything from seats to name changes to flight changes to reissuing boarding passes and checking in at the airport all the way through to your bags. You name it, they charge for it. It's not as low cost as you thought, is it? And the media has definitely picked up on what a rip-off Ryanair can be. Now, seats can cost anywhere between £4.50 to £33 and the equivalent in euros. Do you want to bring a bag with you? Well, for a 10 kilogram bag, it will set you back anywhere between 11 99 all the way up to 29 99 Or if you want to bring a 20 kilogram bag, it can cost anywhere from 18 99 all the way up to 59 99 if you want your boarding pass reissued, well, it's not free. It will set you back £20. To check in at the airport, which we will get back to later with my personal experience, it will cost you £55. Or interestingly, only £30 or €30 Euros if flying from Spain. To change your flight, there is a fee of forty-five pounds or forty-five euros. Have you changed your name and you need to still go on your trip? Wow, well, that will cost you a whooping one hundred and fifteen pounds or one hundred and fifteen euros. Recently, a story made headlines around Europe where Ryanair will charge you twenty-one pounds or 21 euros at the airport customer service desk if you don't pre-select a seat. They will no longer issue mobile or printed boarding passes if you do not select a seat and forced to check in at the airport at a ripping cost of £21 or €21, euros, which is completely outrageous. Upon doing some research for this video, I also found this other story where a couple was charged £110, which was £55 each, just because they accidentally printed the return, not outward passes, and they were elderly and did not realise. Weiner showed no mercy and still charged them the whole £110 to check in at the airport, not taking into fact that it was a genuine mistake and their age. Now, on to my situation. Weiner do not care if it was their fault. They will still charge you to get the money. There was a technical issue with their app telling myself it can't check me in and to speak at the airport or try again later. Weiner still charged me £55 even though it was their fault and they never acknowledged it even in my complaint response. Now let's look at what happened, shall we? So, as you've just heard, Ryanair uh, charges loads of fees and uh, not... Some hidden and some not so hidden. They do mention it on their website and separately in their terms and conditions. However, it does not state it very clearly at the time of booking, um, which I think is, you know, is wrong. Um, like any company, they should be very clear about their fees. Um, like I had my own personal experience when I went to Stansted a few months ago. Um, now, um, as you will be hearing, <clears throat> now, uh, and after this, you'll hear a statement from Ryanair in response to that. Um, but, you know, I went, I couldn't check in online, so it wasn't my fault. It, the mobile boarding pass just would not let me check in. I tried everything. Uh, I went on the website, I went on to the mobile app, it just said, could not check in. Um, it says to go and speak with Ryanair customer services. This is exactly what I did when I arrived especially early to do that at Stansted Airport. However, that being said, um, they still said, no, pay £55. Um, so that's what I had to do. I had to pay the £55. Um, I tried to argue with them and I didn't get anywhere. And just to go on my trip, I had to cough it up. And they said to make a complaint 
uh, to their customer services team, which is what I did. And again, a response from them I got was, no, it's not our uh, fault you didn't check in, even though it was their fault. So again, why they don't actually admit to to doing anything wrong, um, and they never do. Uh, when they charge passengers um, fees, and even if they got it wrong, they would never admit it, uh, which is completely wrong. I want to know in the comments below whether you guys at home have had uh, any incidents with Ryanair, anything like that, and I want to see if I can make some kind of difference. Uh, maybe put in a complaint uh, to them uh, with loads of different examples from you guys. So please, please, please do comment below. Uh, and I will read every one of them and I will respond to every one of them. Uh, alternatively, uh, you can also uh, email uh, Destination Discovery 2001 at gmail.com. That's Destination Discovery 2001 at gmail.com about your experiences, and I am happy to share that with the world and also uh, part of the complaint to Ryan. I just, I just had enough of. Then, and the way they cheat their customers. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pass you on to me again, uh, another me, uh, to share with you a statement from Ryan in response to my situation uh, and my personal experience. Uh, I love you all, uh, and I shall join you in a bit. Hello, guys. Uh, so, as you saw at the beginning of my video, Ryan and during my video, Ryan they charged me £55 for a check in fee, which I think personally is unfair because at the end of the day, it was their fault, their mobile app was down, it wasn't my fault. But I had to pay it, and I made a complaint to Ryanair, as their customer service desk suggested I did, and they still rejected and refused to refund the £55 fee, even though I made my point pretty clear to them. As a result, I uh, asked their media desk to provide a statement for this YouTube channel, in which they actually did, uh, which I'll be reading out to you. But first, what I want to know is, have you guys at home been charged a £55 fee? And if so, let me know in the comments below, um, and tell me if you actually managed to get your money back, uh, if it was Ryanair's fault, um, and your opinions on it, because I think it's completely wrong, in my opinion. Uh, but this is Ryanair's statement to me anyway. Uh, I shall press play on here, and it will pop up behind me, and I shall read it out to you guys. So, thank you for your request. We note you are disputing the airport check-in fee. This was charged correctly and is non-refundable as you did not check in up to two hours prior to your scheduled departure time. Please click <coughs> here for more detailed checking information to avoid this situation happening again. Thank you for choosing to fly with Ryanair and we look forward to welcoming you on another flight in the future. Uh, as, you can, as you can see from that, a statement from Ryanair. I play it again so you can see it behind me. As you can see from that statement from Ryanair, it's clear that they don't care. Um, they just say you didn't check in two hours beforehand, uh, and they say you know it was charged correctly, non-refundable. Did not check in up to two hours beforehand, even though it was their fault, and they did not acknowledge it was their fault. Uh, at the end of the day, um, it's completely wrong, um, and and again. And then there's so you Mick, thank you for choosing to fly with Ryan there. We look forward to working you on another flight in the future. Why would I want to go on another flight with them in the future if they rip people off? Uh, I want to hear your opinion on this on the comments below. Please let me know. Uh, and I shall now...